Kenneth Arthur back here again for field goals. We're talking uh, about the Seahawks draft. Uh, some more mocks going on. Uh, CBS has, in this case, and I've seen it several times, the Dayton Jones of UCLA, is my understanding it is, in Dayton. And, you know, he's a guy that a lot of people are curious about whether or not where he'll fit on a defensive line. You know, he can be a defensive end or can he be a five tech? Is he only going to be in on third downs? That kind of thing is just... You know, where does he fit in, and would he really be a good pick for the Seahawks at number 25? You know, I don't necessarily, it's hard for anyone to say what Pete Carroll is looking for uh, at this juncture, uh, but I don't necessarily, that's not how I would see it right now. I wouldn't necessarily see that being there, and plus with uh, a lot of teams questioning where Jones will fit, that's sort of a, uh, a common theme that drops guys down a little bit, and he might be available for the Seahawks in the second round. So... And, you know, as far as the Seahawks go, that's plenty of reason to think they might take him in the first. Uh, if everyone's, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad, but if everyone's projecting a guy to go later, there's no reason to think that the Seahawks wouldn't take him earlier. Uh, but at this point, Jones, I don't know if he would be seen as a guy that's going to slip all the way to the Seahawks in the second round. I actually think that the Seahawks are going to trade back uh, from the 25th pick. I think there's going to be enough of those quarterbacks available in the back end of the first round, the teams at the top of the second round that passed on a quarterback in the first are actually going to be trying to trade up and Seahawks are going to take that call. They have no problem uh, drafting at, say, 38 as opposed to 25, as long as it brings them a couple extra picks or even one decent or pretty good extra pick. Uh, that would be a pretty dramatic drop, I think. But this is a draft that's going to be deep. Uh, I don't at the positions that they want. It's not necessarily high end, like say the 2011 draft that had 11 or 12 really good players, uh, two elite players, uh, but falling off a lot after that. It might necessarily be the certain draft where you're going to want a lot of picks. A certain drafts you're just going to want to pick higher. Uh, right now, this seems like a draft where you're going to want a lot more picks. Guys with question marks. Um, and for a guy like Dayton Jones, who missed all of 2010 with a foot injury and trained really hard on his upper body and came back very strong in 2011, boosted his stock. And, but you look also at a guy like Geno Atkins of the Cincinnati Bengals that they drafted in the fourth round, was sort of a position question mark as well. Is he going to be too skinny um, at you know 300-ish pounds to play defensive tackle? And Geno Atkins is arguably the best defensive tackle in the NFL, is that going to be what's going to happen to Jones as a guy that could be pushed on the inside where people didn't know if he was going to be able capable of doing that? I don't know. We'll see as we get closer. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will talk to you next time. And you can tell me in the comments what you think of Dayton Jones for the Seahawks at pick 25.